All right, hey guys, and today I have a very, very exciting unboxing for you. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to be unboxing an Invicta Pro Diver. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. No, ser ser seriously? Before you have a fit, just calm down. I, there is a really good reason. Just wait for it. Oh, this better be good. All right. Yeah, well, let's get into it, okay? So let's get right to it. That's coming up right after this. All right, so a huge drum roll, please. You guys uh, all know exactly what this is. This packaging looks familiar. It's the same as every Invicta just about ever. Uh, this particular one is the Invicta Pro Diver 8926 OB. That's the one that I'm opening here. And OB just basically means old bezel. So it has a coin edge bezel versus the scalloped Seamaster style bezel that's on the new Pro Divers. Here's the plan before anybody else freaks out about the fact that I'm uh, unboxing an Invicta. I've actually been thinking about modifying uh, a watch or doing a complete mod of my own for a while now, really since I picked up the Seiko SNZH. Uh, the reason for that is everybody knows that particular Seiko has the most one of the most popular mods, which is the Seiko 55 Fathoms. So ever since I kind of started seeing that and checking out the forums and you know all the different mods that could be done, um, it's something that I've been thinking about really. So my dad actually gave me an Invicta Pro Diver with the scallop bezel and you know I don't want to sell it or get rid of it but I'm not it's not really something that uh, I wanted to wear as it is but it means something to me because it's something that that he gave me and he gave it to me at a time where we were kind of reconnecting and, and reestablishing our relationship. So I figured, you know, I think it would be the perfect thing to kind of spark this new journey for me. And if I could modify it into something that I really loved, I'd be able to wear it all the time. And it would have kind of this special emotional significance because it would be the first piece that I've modified on my own, but also something that my dad gave me. Uh, and that's something that I'm really looking forward to. The other reason that I picked up this second Invicta is because I also want to take this movement. I might end up also modifying my SNZH to make the famous Seiko 55 Fathoms myself, but I don't like the Seiko movement that's in there because it's non-hacking, not hand-winding, which is the biggest thing for me. Uh, it's not a big deal with that piece if it's something that you're going to wear all the time, but when it's part of a rotation... It's actually really annoying. So what I'm going to do is uh, probably fit the other uh, Seiko movement, which is the NH35A is the movement that's in this one. And it is hacking and hand winding, which is the biggest thing. So I think I'm going to end up also putting this extra movement that I've got in the um, Seiko SNCH if I do end up doing the mod to that, which depending on how this goes, will probably be another series where I modify that one really kind of pushed me over the edge between thinking about modifying and actually ending up doing it uh, is is Mark. Mark, a really good friend of mine uh, that I met through the channel, uh, he... So he got an Invicta Pro Diver and he told me that he was going to modify it. So I said, hey, you know, please send me the pictures when you're done with it. So he did, as you guys can see here. I mean, he did such an awesome job. He put a new dial on that. He's got a bead blasted finishing on his case. That's a new bezel insert he has in there as well. Uh, you can see on the Invicta second tan, he kind of he clipped off the Invicta logo. Uh, that was the counterweight on the second tan. And I got to tell you, it looks incredible. He did, Mark, you. You did an incredible job. I mean, so he got the stuff for his mod from Degas, which is actually closed until June 14th. Uh, and I'm just not that patient a person, as you guys know. So, I, you know, I started looking everywhere to find other places to source the parts. This is my current adventure. I'm really excited about it. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it comes out. So if you guys want to keep track of my progress, see how I'm doing when I take the case apart, the finishing, everything else as I go, aside from the fact that I am going to turn it into a series. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But if you want to see sneak peeks along the way of how I do, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, make sure to like the Facebook page, and you'll get to kind of see some sneak peeks and pictures that I post the progress as I go uh, while I'm waiting to kind of compile the video in to a how-to type modding that that makes sense but um 
yeah, so that's it. That's it for this one. I'm just super excited to get my hands into this. I just can't wait to see how it turns out. You know, the best part is I'm going to share this with my boys. They're very excited to see, you know, what's going to happen with it. And they all want their own little watch tools. So, you know, it's going to be something special to, to share it with them as well. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys have modded anything, please uh, you tell me about it in the comments below. Shoot me some pictures. I'd definitely love to hear about it. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, don't forget forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. That's it for this one. CG out. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. No, I'm, I'm in the car because nobody in the house will shut up.